what's the point? Do it. Do it yourself. Try it. Like. That is not blessings I don't know. I, I literally glow. Right. Do the zipline to make the table, to book the trip. And it brought me so much joy. Let's and a full umbrella for you. Alright, so I am currently on my way to Chaka Trelawney to do a adventure tour thing with Appleton. Um, I actually have friends in town for a birthday. Um, and we're staying in Tower Isle, St. Mary's side. They're also doing the chaka chore today, but I had to be a little earlier. So I'm driving myself there. But we're doing motorized bicycle, right? Zip lining. I'm looking forward to that, like, love a little adrenaline rush. And then we are doing bamboo rafting. It, we being Appleton and Sean Christopher Castle. Shout out to you wherever you are. Rum tasting, of course. But it's a whole Appleton estate experience, and y'all know I'm Appleton girly. I'm gonna say girly. I'm excited. I haven't done any like adventure stuff in a while, and I always have a good time with Appleton. It's always, it's just always fun. It's good, clean fun. Appleton family is just like Sean and I always have a good time. We did rum fest together two years ago. That was fun. That was really fun. That was actually the first time I met him. It was cool people, cool people. So yeah, I have another oh I'm supposed to have less than an hour but like traffic look like it just pick up. Anyway, I should get there by ten. We we're supposed to get there by ten. I was hoping to get there by like nine forty five. Anyways, that's enough rambling now. vlogging and real making I know it's I just started my YouTube videos so I'm committed yeah such a beautiful property oh my gosh bicycle off Ready guys? Yeah. All right, come on, let's go. Ah! <laughs> hey, bo Bouncy.
Se le libre más Batsby. <risa> You can't, there we go. I'm going to catch you. Yeah. <laughs> You geared up? I'm trying to gear up here. Hard at, hard at, hard at. Of course you didn't. <laughs> but with, oh, it's true. Maybe we can put on the other helmets. It's true. We nearly drop out of the truck. <laughs> oh shit! We try to do everything possible to prevent problem. Pretty keep you safe, guys. This activity is not recommended for persons who like have any bad neck or shoulder injury. Use three signals and three signals. The first one, which is this signal, it means break. How do you break? You gently reach out with the hand that you're most comfortable with. Reaching, grabbing all of the lower cable, where there's more padding in the glove. So you gently apply pressure right here to slow yourself down. Break is not to stop you. It's only to slow yourself down. Clear? You do not put your hands in front, that can be a nasty ouch. And you do not put your hands at the top. Go oh, Simon, 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 Simon. You that know my father. Chuck off. I wondered how they came up with that name. Chuck off. Chucka. When bamboo rafting. <laughs> Who is saying what? Daniela mash up. Bad. I'm exhausted. <laughs> the girl just do two little zip line and mash up. <laughs> two little zip line in there. I'm tired. All I oh, scream out and I carry on and please. Terrifying. It really was not. It was so exhilar exhilarating. Just like pump <laughs> oh, no, my, my area mess up. Yeah, Corny, finish your story now. Right, so, mm. then I'm just like, get me in this bus, bestie, and let us go where we're going. Bestie. I'm not in the mood. Get yeah. in the bus, bestie. Mm. <laughs>
<laughs> no, but like when I was younger, when we used to work at Edith, no one is allergic to citrus, right? No, no. So right there is some freshness in the land. Call that ugly fruit. Yeah. No. Ugly fruit. And it's not giving sour at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, say my like, my like that DJ there, though. <laughs> I love you, baby. <laughs> This is him. This anyway, is him. Daniel and Courtney, thoughts? I'm well. Daniel, what are you doing? <laughs> I realize. Next time, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Brittany, how is she? Mixed out, it's really good though. I like the fire. It does. Okay, okay. 
for me, man. Nice. And you're, and you're in the Juice. Jungle. Juice. way to get me, you know. Danger. Danger. I'm a father. I like weight. So this is very strong. And then you already have fallen asleep, you know. Like, dip on the raft. With no alcohol. So no. Poor Marlon, oh. she left Marlon on her off. Yeah, also just oh. Marlon. Let me get with them. <laughs> and and Marlon, a whole umbrella for you. I was tired, guys. I'm doing so much. No, I choose still. Thank the you. Day, the, the day long start four thirty, and it is. Have you, you found a purchase? I will work up more. What time in the leave town? About six like six thirty. Yeah, yeah. Okay, about seven. It's, it's wrapping up to almost twelve hours. Okay, so we did oh, yeah. e-bike ride, yeah, yeah. electric bike. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Them oh, never thousand US. So, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was they hard, guys. It was not hard. Some it was so fun. Was fun. This no they were in the buggy the whole time. We and I'll do it again. As as okay, no, no problem. Sean and I did the bike. That was fun. And then we did. Zip lining. No, we had lunch. Yeah, we had lunch. Lunch was good. Lunch was. It was okay. We didn't like the chicken. The chicken was good, man. I don't want to be a low maintenance squally. Come on, the jerk. Low maintenance squally. Okay, man. Listen, listen. I really hate when people call me an influencer now. I feel so awkward. That's all I do. Because it's like. Okay, thank you. Because it's like. Oh yeah, I'm an influencer. I'm a content creator. Okay. I mean, I don't. I feel like being called an influencer, like if you influence the world, you're an influencer. That's important. Okay. That's an important role. I, I guess it adds more. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm not gonna lie, because today, honestly, I was on a zip line and I said, "Oh my God, I love my life." Oh, yeah. And I was literally screaming, "Oh my God, I love my life!" Like I'm out here having fun and earning dollars in the bag. Sean, out here getting another bag on him phone. Yeah, <laughs> he's working, working. Yeah, I'm always I, working. That's fair. I've low key neglected my responsibilities yeah, for the day. Mm -hmm. Anyway, oh my god, I know your ears are very small. People tell me that all the time. That is so like crazy. What's that you drinking? You said you have big ears, like a rich journal so star. That man, our time. Yeah, First, the know. coconut water. Yeah. Yeah. Rami's ears big. You know, your ears Channel. and nose never stop growing. I think that's not, I think that's why old people ears and nose are big. You know what I mean? Old people ears are huge. Okay, and I get the, blown. I get the ears okay, 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 okay. I have a thing, I have a thing, I have a thing. So, you know when they say be there or be square? Yes. You know what it means? Yes. Okay, shh. But you know what it means? No, you know what it means? You know what it means? Square? When I say. When a square is a lame person. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, there's so much to it. Okay. You guys know when them say. When them say, it be there, be square, you know uh -huh. what I mean? Lame? Can no. I, can, I, can I guess? Uh -huh. Be there or you're lame? Be there no. means you're Your mind is going to be blown. Your mind is going to be blown. I'm going to assume it's a play on words. So I'm going to use context clues and I'm going to say, be there means to be around. Right. Okay, so if you're not around, then you're square. <laughs> So oh. be there, be square. Isn't that like? You know what I mean? Yeah, I I know it's that's on. crazy. Isn't that crazy? No. Yeah, sure. It's wow. Let <laughs> <Wow. laughs> me think about it though. Think about it. it. I, I thought right. about it. I get it. You you never thought that though. No, I didn't. Yeah. But isn't that it clever? Yeah. Marlon, what do you think? Clean sight. Yeah. Thank you. Isn't that clever though? Please. Yeah, but uh, we have actually given so... it a serious it's start. Yeah. He is very square. <laughs> okay, right. Ramiz is square. Uh, Rami. Thank you, Tevin. No problem. Thank Bye, oh, guys. No, Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Say hi to my channel. Yeah, my... Where are you guys from? <laughs> Girl, I'm going to be famous. Don't start now. <laughs> Claim it for me, huh? Where are you guys from? We are from North Carolina. Oh. Oh, and my birthday, birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday! Thank you. Yes. And we're kind of newlyweds, so yeah. thank yeah. you. Yeah. Have the best time. I'm guys. following. Hey, <laughs> hey! That was oh, that's so nice. Bye, guys. Bye. Huh? Wow! <laughs> oh my YouTube! Oh. It's the birthday, girl. Did you have fun at the run tasting? the best time today. It's been fantastic. I had so much fun. Uh, it's giving more chocolate. You're giving a little chocolate, right? Yeah, it's a sugar.
It says delicate. I was right. Coco. Oh, but I'm right too. Yeah, delicate pie. It's funny what other people smell. Yeah. <laughs> Landy. Okay, ready again? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you there, Landy! Happy birthday! They gave us a white room. Any questions? It's crazy. No, What's your name? All right, that wraps our day at Shoka. Choka, choka, choka. It actually was really fun. Mm -hmm. Can we rate the day? Is that the thing? Rate the day? Uh, that's that what thing? I've been doing. Well, that's not bad. Yeah, I've been rating all the things I do. Mm -hmm. So, for sure, oh, Zip Ryan, it's 10 out of 10. Yeah. Biking was also 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah, you never thought you'd Let's go, guys. Yeah, everybody, yeah. Um, Rafting was nice. The yeah, but yo, I can't wait to look at those. I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, it's so nice. Like, the property is so beautiful. The great Appleton Estate. Thank you for a lovely day. Um, I definitely would recommend this. To anybody who comes to Jamaica, like this is such a nice experience. It's so authentic. And then you can chill out, relax by the pool. Yeah, this is nice still. This is very nice. Really, 10 out of 10 experience. <laughs> you get a wave? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, so uh, I'm leaving Chaka. Good hope now. Um, okay, yeah. So <laughs> leaving Chaka now. Um, just almost just get off of the hill, really. And I must say, like, so I've done Chaka tours before. I've, I've done the Oshi one. I did a horseback riding thing. Um, I don't even know what else we did there. But I've never done Tr Chukka, Trelawney, Chukka Good Hope. And we did it today because of Appleton. Appleton has new um, experience, rum tasting, added on, to one of, added on to the tours. And, you know, honestly, like, the experience was 10 out of 10. Like, everything did just nice. Like, the property is beautiful. Beautiful. The staff, them nice and welcoming. It don't feel cheesy, touristy. It's a very authentic experience like I just feel like as a Jamaican I'm proud and I want people who come here to visit the country to come and experience this like God no it's just nice it was just so nice so we did first we did um not zip line e-bike <laughs> We did um electronic biking so like we did this country run it's like it's a rough ride but it's so fun um it was us an appleton group and another older group which was also very inspiring to see um very fun very very fun we stopped them give us fruit and water and at one point we we're eating coconuts drinking coconut the man mashed the coconut on the ground um they showed us like through the farm area um a lot of it is there's no running water and most of the whole the houses there are powered by solar electricity so that's just a really authentic experience then after that we went to have had lunch and then we did the zip line that i mean my adrenaline girl i love the zip line it was so amazing like and I, why i really even wanted to record this before i reach home like I just felt the urge to say this like I'm on the zip line and I'm literally thinking oh my god I love my life like I am so grateful like I get to do these things for work like I am 
earning while living my best life i'm having fun like i'm surrounded by good people i'm getting true authentic amazing experiences and also like representing jamaica on top of it because you know me sabra jamaica like as much as you know i love hate situation <laughs> but i love jamaica to the core because these are the things like I always say I love Jamaica on the weekends because you know you get to do these things like you get to see the country like it is such a beautiful place but like the way Chaka has like packaged this and packaged it and finessed it and given you such an authentic beautiful adventure I mean I'm driving behind the bus now and it says this is Chaka country it's time to play and honestly I felt like I played all day it was a, it was quite a bit of work I'm not gonna lie because you know we're shooting content and it's a little it's a it's a rampant day like I'm not even gonna lie we started at 10 and it is 5 30 and we were just leaving so oh after we did after we did the zip line um we did bamboo rafting that was also i i kind of didn't want to do it i'm going to be honest because i was like i'm having an adrenaline rush right now i don't really feel like i need to sit down on a raft honestly also a 10 out of 10 experience like the captains of the rafts were so knowledgeable and they told us a story about how they um how martha bray the river got its name about the Arawak in the, actually Arawak is the language um, and how the Taino Indians how they came here and how Martha cut out the Spaniard them like it was just such a nice experience and our captain Zidane what? I'm driving our captain Zidane was so great like so well spoken very kind and they gave you like a rum cocktail a rum punch It was just lovely it was just lovely it was just i mean yeah it did nice and i go like i'm not even trying to be biased like i had fun i had genuine fun you had families there from um north carolina you had families there from boston from new jersey my friends were there Steph was there with her friends and you know they got to do the zip lining some of them did river tubing rafting whatever and you can just tell that they had a great time like when I get back to the villa I'm gonna ask them to give me like their reviews and stuff but like it was just I just love that for them I love that for my friends like a couple of them I've never been to Jamaica before some of them are Jamaican and I just want my I just want people to experience these things like it's just so nice I feel so happy for them that they got to experience this and it's the first time I'm doing this and I live here and it's the first time that they're doing this and they're visiting here and I just I'm blown away so I can imagine that they must have been blown away too. So yeah, I just I don't know, it was really great. And I just have to I'm so grateful. I'm really so grateful because I keep telling you guys agenda or an itinerary for the day and then I end up just talking about how happy I am. <laughs> like So after we did the zip line, we did the raft we did the rafting, which was great, and then we did the rum tasting. It's a concise version of the Appleton Estate Rum Tour, for sure. Like, it's not... Obviously, you don't go and see the molasses being made and has not there and you're not making sugar cane juice and all that. But, you know, you get to taste the Appleton um, Signature Reserve and 12-year and you get a cocktail and, you know, it's just... Honestly... Just wow. Just really wow. Just really wow. And I just, like... I was driving down the hill a while ago and I wanted to record because I wanted to just capture how like grateful and fulfilled and you know just happy I feel and revived and refreshed from like experiencing something like that that's right here in home and you know we always want to fly out I mean I always want to fly out like you know I'm, a, I'm, I'm flew out I'm trying to be flew out <laughs> right I'm always trying to be on a plane when is the next trip but I really did want to make an effort to be more conscious of doing things in Jamaica, spending more time like doing adventure things, exploring, visiting hotel, villa, whatever, beach, on the weekend, you know, like actually enjoying Jamaica when I am here. 
today was that I have to say thank you to Appleton Estates and Chucker Caribbean because that 10 out of 10 experience I would definitely recommend it. I, I, I would love my mom to experience this, but she not really the adrenaline like that. But I think she would absolutely love like the bike ride and um, the rafting. Just it's just nice. It's like all families, all all age groups. You know, like there was a family there, older maybe like the kids were in their teens for sure, like maybe like 16, 17 and then the parents maybe in, like their fifties. And then the older group that did the bicycle ride with us, they're like 60s, 70s, or maybe not 70s, I'm pushing it, but they're older for sure. And I just feel like that's just so nice. Like, they're brave, honestly, because I was a little nervous initially because Manala, the electric bicycle thing, it's a little, a little tricky. <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not sure what I do, it's a little tricky. Um, speed off speed off right <laughs> what's fun though my phone dropped two time i'm gonna i'm making sure that those clips are in here because i can't wait to see that but yeah it was really so fun but i am actually quite exhausted i've had a long week it has felt like two days but it has also felt like 12 days monday was my only normal day tuesday Steph flew in and my mom flew in so I had two airport runs Tuesday morning and then I had two meetings and then I had content to edit I had the vlog for Barbados to edit like just enough things I don't think I didn't go to the gym so my my day did done show off from morning I had coffee late never got to the gym I was tired the whole day um, and then Wednesday I managed to go to the gym so I had a little semblance of structure but then like you know we're doing stuff prepping for Steph's birthday and like running around we had to, to do um I had to do my work I like work to work stuff like just things just things just things and so like I went and I was up late to like 4 a.m. in the morning doing some stuff for birthday too like I wanted to she wanted to give to her friends some um gifts like souvenirs for the trip so I was happy to talk about that and like you know then the next morning I picked up the rental and then I went to the supermarket to pick up um decor things I had to go for time like I just wear things and then I was like drive come to Ochi so when I got to Ochi I just had to do time I did some work I did some more content to my brand and then we had dinner and chill out and you know kind of was able to kind of like, but I was exhausted and then this morning we go to the club and fuck up my joke but you know what honestly though like I feel like now I'm re re revitalized and rejuvenated and ready to go I have all of tomorrow to chill Sunday we chill and then we drive back Sunday so it's like Shaping up to be a nice good weekend, but I'm not like tired. But yeah, I had a beautiful day, and I really I always come back to this. You know, I always come back to this. I just have to give thanks for these things that I get to do. I feel so blessed. I feel so fortunate. I'm so joyful and fulfilled that like I get to do the things that I like to do for fun and for work and like I enjoy my life you know they always talk about design in your life I feel like it, it wasn't always this way but I've been taking my time to just do more of the things that I really love and really enjoy and be true to the things that I said I want to do I've been wanting to make this YouTube for so long and I say you know what my god vlog Barbados and honestly more you want to touch more lives you want to make more impact like yeah 
but you still have to give thanks for where you are now like you have to give thanks for the things that you're able to do now because you probably never thought that you could do these things now like you probably i i would have never think say on a friday me there chucker appleton apple That is not blessings I don't know. I don't know. And like the things I'm able to do, I'm able to earn when I'm not like at a desk, I'm on top of my laptop, I can earn if I'm in another country. Yeah, like I just really have to give thanks. Like design your life and doing what you want. And I'm great. I understand that not everybody's able to do that. I understand that everybody's not able to live the life that they want or you know but like you find a way to do more of the things that you love and I think that's what I've been actively working towards you know it's still responsible bills have a pay rent have a pay car loan have a pay but I'm just doing more of the little things that bring me joy I'm taking the trip I am doing the things with my friends I am taking the downtime but when I work I work I work hard so that I can do all those other things you know like yeah like okay am I ever going to post this this is just rambling no like this might just be like a story time drive time talk it might be that might be a thing maybe I could do that but like the reason the main reason why I started this vlog YouTube situation I've always wanted to do it. You guys know I'm a DIY girly. I do all my like, you know, DIY stuff at home. I make this, I make that, I do whatever. Like, that's always been something that I'm passionate about, right? Actually, this view is so nice. I wish I could flip the camera and show you. But like, I've always wanted to do that on YouTube. I always felt overwhelmed. I always felt like it was too much. But like, the reason why I push myself to do the Barbados vlog is because I wanted to kind of practice for Iceland. I am, I am going to Iceland in September, next month. Cheese and peas, next month this time, I got... Next month this time I'll be in New York to go to Iceland on the 21st. I started talking about Iceland last year, September, you know, September 2022. I'm gonna say more Iceland, you know, and I was so, and actually it was August because I was like, September is a great time to go, but I, I couldn't plan it that quickly because I have to get a visa and all of these things, right? But last year, you know, I'm gonna start planning Iceland. I'm gonna say, yeah, more Iceland, more Iceland, and I did what I needed to do. I could get the visa, book the ticket. I did all the research, like. When I tell you I did the research, like I had a spreadsheet, you know, like a spreadsheet, insert spreadsheets. My friends have seen the spreadsheets. Anyway, so I did the spreadsheet, did my research, whatever. Got the visa, booked my tickets. One thing left to book now is my Jamaica to New York thing. But like, I did the vlog for Barbados to practice because I want to vlog the Iceland trip because, you know, like a lot of times people, people like, I'm not like I'm not doing this content for any like I'm doing the content for people obviously because I want to share these things and share the, my joy and my experiences but I'm I'm doing this for me like I I don't love editing right but I was editing the, the Barbados vlog and it brought me so much joy like it brought me so much joy like I was so happy and I was like this is why this is why content creators do the YouTube. This is why they do it because you're looking back at joyful memories that you've made in your life and you're editing them for like to create forever content. Like you're gonna have that forever in your phone, on YouTube, on the internet, wherever. Like you create like that's why I love making reels, like recap reels. Because you're seeing you're 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 living back in the moment. Like one of my favorite reels is my birthday reel from Turks day one and soca season this year 
you watch it back and it does feel like joy even jessica says she'll she come back and go watch a video because she says oh, this does feel nice it does feel like a good time i'm gonna say yeah that's how i feel about the content that's how i feel about vlogging that's how i feel about like sharing this information sharing these things with people like i just i just i love it it brings me joy you know i just had the thought like what if i'm going the wrong way the the barbados crop over blog vlog really just brought me so much joy like just seeing me and my friends having such a good time like Nikan having her first crop over with me and terry where we, we, we love crop over like I just love it i just love it and it just pushed me to be like when i started editing it i felt a burst of energy and optimism and motivation to to keep doing this and to share this and to be consistent with it because it's not like for me it's not about fame like it's not about oh i want all these thousand million subscribers of course i would love that like follow and subscribe it's just it just brings me so much joy looking back at these experiences and I don't know if anybody going to want to watch 20 minutes of me talking in the camera like this I don't know but I just feel like I want to share some of these experiences because one a lot of people don't get to experience these things and two I just really hope that I can inspire persons to live life and enjoy it in the moment like a lot of times when I do my DIY some people always say you make it look so easy and you make me feel like I would have want to try and I'm like yes that's the point do it do it yourself try it like I want that I want people to watch my content and feel inspired to try things to do the zipline to make the table to book the trip like do a solo trip like and don't get me wrong I know a solo trip is not for everyone right like I know that's not like everyone's cup of tea but I just want it to be I just want people to feel empowered and like not as scared even though the world's a scary place but like feel like you can do it too the life i live is not unattainable it's not unattainable i personally probably never thought i could live i would live this life but it's not because i didn't think i could do it i just felt like oh that's just not what i was doing at the time but the moment i decided that i wanted to live my life this way and i wanted to be a vlogger and i wanted to record my travel content and i wanted to do more content creation the opportunities came like once you ask for it it will come you know you just because you're attracting that if that's what you want you're going to be looking at the world in a different way you're going to be looking out for those opportunities and sometimes they're not come but more often than not they do because you're now kind of even if it's a small little way you're kind of putting yourself out there in that way in that space in that in that path on that on that lane in that lane on the, in the energy that you you want to attract like you know you get me <laughs> i feel like i'm talking to the the road <laughs> the open road then the open road having a conversation <sighs> anyways i must i'm i really just started all of this because i just was feeling so grateful always come back to that the gratitude feeling grateful feeling blessed feeling revived rejuvenated revitalized feeling just grateful grateful is the word i feel like i feel like i would i get grateful tattooed on me oh it's close just our gratitude like i live by that yo i live by that stuff with some bun and cheese i'm actually really tired <laughs> like feeling it now and i really wanted to see ask her about the bathroom she said out of service i said okay so i'm gonna go to the bathroom and i'll be back 
so. I ate a bun and cheese. Hopefully, only have like an hour left to go, I think. Less than an hour. I sanitized my hands, by the way. I mean, it's a bun and cheese like this was right before I went on the plane to Turks and Caicos.